Okay, um, another uh, video, I'm going to call this the five minute uh, video of uh, brutal truth. I often get asked on uh, my book on magnetism, well, what are uh, the direct applications for this? Well, there are quite a few. I just got done making a two part video series on uh, magnetism uh, for use in uh, using uh, the diamagnetic properties of gold for uh, sluice extraction for the uh, extraction of gold and uh, sluicing. It can be used on a larger scale as well. And what it's going to employ is the centrifugal divergent edge of a magnet and only that to cause deceleration due to uh, low magnetic permeability of the gold and sluicing for extraction to make especially fine particle gold fall into extraction whiffles for sluicing. And there are going to be a lot of people that are going to get rich off the prior two videos that I mentioned. I've had uh, been in contact with, uh, with uh, three sluicers and another person that has a small operation up in Alaska on uh, how to improve. And then the one thing that they need to do is improve a fine particle gold, which gets washed out in the force motion of the water flow in the sluice box. But what you can use, as I showed in the prior two videos, is centrifugal divergence of a magnet to cause deceleration of the gold and extract it out. So A, it gets decelerated and drops into the whiffles, and B, it actually gets separated out from uh, the uh, magnetic uh, accelerative uh, hematite particles and other, uh, the, black, the black sand uh, magnetically attractive particles that uh, get caught up with the fine particulate gold. So it does two things. It causes deceleration of the gold to fall into the whiffles and it causes extraction from, this is the tough stuff that gold miners really, really hate. Sluicers and panners, people that run large sluicing operations, are separating, it, separating out the fine particle gold from the damn iron ore, the, which is uh, magnetically accelerative to a, a strong magnetic field. But uh, While well, people had started, a very, very, very few number of people started to use magnets uh, to uh, aid in uh, extraction of gold and sluicing, uh, they're not using them to anywhere near the best possibility because they don't know about field geometry and they don't know that magnetism is not magnetism. As I proved, we have totally different uh, field geometry here as we do along the edge. And by understanding proper magnetic field geometry, people are going to get rich off of uh, my design. And if someone tries to patent it, I'll have a precedence and uh, I'll sue them. No, <laughs> I, I still might sue them, actually. People are able to build it on their own, but uh, uh, I'm also uh, developing two other products. And uh, one of them is uh, a type of uh, a shielding agent that uses uh, electrified uh, paramagnetic material and I won't get into any more details on that. I've already proven that it works and uh, it has really strong military applications so I won't get into the details on that. And of course my other device that I'm prototyping using larger ones of these, these are N50 Gauss neodymium iron boron ceramic chromium plated uh, N50 Gauss with the hole in the center and I'm mocking up that prototype so my discoveries in magnetism and specifically field geometry have a lot of direct applications because when you understand the magnetic permeability and the dielectric permittivity of elements and you understand the uh, hyper uh, geometry or the trans Euclidean or the meta geometry of uh, field divergence and uh, convergence, specifically when it regards the magnetic uh, spatial geometries that are able to uh, have increased uh, Gaussian flux densities due to their specific geometric shape that causes a magnetic constriction, which are used like in Hallback arrays. And uh, as you can see in videos of a super magnet man, a guy that I know in Alabama, he uses actually uh, pyramidal shaped stack magnets to increase the magnetic flux density uh, for use in medical devices. Well, these same principles that people know how to employ, at least a very few people, they're, they're not understood until I came along. And uh, so there are a lot of enormous applications uh, for these uh, discoveries in magnetism, a few of which that I'm developing, and I just made two videos, and people are going to get rich. They're sluicing. And they are going to have like a $200, not money to me, I mean, making, spending the money themselves and building this device, they're going to be able to greatly increase their gold output. 
and especially important is extract that fine particle gold that gets lost in the uh, force flux of the water flow through the sluice box because when you can decelerate the fine particle gold and also separate it out uh, from its magnetic bearing ore you know so it doesn't get caught up and it also gets decelerated you have much 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 greater uh, gold extraction and that my friends is a uh, direct application of understanding field theory that anybody could get behind. Now all I needed was like some braces with some huge gold teeth and I could smile. <laughs> Direct relation to gold extraction. Anybody could get behind that one. I want to see who's going to try to patent this device or who's going to try to create a device and circumvent my design because I have precedence on this as so far as employing magnetic field geometry for gold extraction. And when you do that, I'm going to sue you. <laughs> Am I kidding? I don't know. Let's see. Thank you for watching. This is called Direct Applications of Field Theory Applied to Daily Life. In this case, gold extraction and my little invention that's over there right now that I'm not going to show you. Thank you for watching. Catch you later. Bye. Lux Iveritas.